so hello everyone so today what we are going to do is we are going to build a chatbot and this chatbot would enable us to answer some of the questions let us look at the input data the input data for the chatbot is something like this based on that we want the bot to answer as many questions as it can So as you can see, this is basically a retrieval based chatbot. This chatbot has certain messages and certain responses associated with it. And it needs to pick a particular response based on the query that has been given to the bot. This data contains roughly, uh, it, this contains a lot of messages and response and these were a live chat archive. So how do we go ahead and create such a bot? So uh, before we go ahead, we need to understand some of the terminology. What we are going to use here is called term frequency inverse document frequency. Now what a term frequency means is, let us say you have a document and in that document, there are multiple words and those, the number of times that word appears in that document is called term frequency. Now, let's uh, so this would be better if we clear in an example so let us have a paragraph which has multiple words and hello appears in the document a five times and document b 12 times what appears in document a zero times and in document b one time so we have defined weight now why we have used a log function is because log enables dampening of the terms frequency what it means is that the amount number of times five has been repeated in the document that does not mean and if it's in the document has been repeated 12 times that does not means that it's the document b is twice as important as document a because it contains a particular word hello it does not mean that the idea is to dampen the term frequency to enable a better approximation we have that's why we are using the log function the one is added because we don't want uh, so uh, there has to be some way a null appearance needs to be differentiated with one if we have uh, only if the term appears only once in log so this means that this quantity becomes zero so we need a factor over here so that we can differentiate with this uh, this function this bit that is what is defined as weight of term frequency. So let us calculate this weight. This is going to be now. As you can see, there is zero over here. So uh, the term frequency, this means what has not appeared in document A at all. This means it's going to be zero. Now, what has appeared once in document B? It means the weight's going to be I hope you with this example you understand why we have added one inverse document frequency uh, term frequency just tells us about the number of times a particular word appears it does not tell us about if that word is rare enough to give the importance that it needs what I mean to say is a lot of words such as the and and or uh, and uh, there are a lot of common phrases which appear in the world but they are not important enough that we actually give them uh, give them weight 
or give them sco uh, stories for them chatbot to match with because these are very common words so inverse document frequency is defined uh, so document frequency is basically measure of number of documents that contain so uh, we need to identify the rarity of that word if the word is rare the inverse document frequency is higher and uh, so document frequency is a measure of number of documents that contain the particular word and n is number total number of documents so inverse document frequency has to be inversely proportional of document frequency and uh, directly proportional to n and again uh, this we need to dampen the function because uh, if that fraction is uh, twice or thrice that does not mean that uh, that is twice or thrice times important so we need to dampen it using the long log function uh, let us explain this same thing with an example So in document A, the term frequency for uh, in document A, the term frequency uh, for my is one. This is again one. This is again one. This is again one. This is zero. So my appears in both the documents. So we have total number of documents as two, and as it appears in both the documents, now here it does not appear in document not does not appear in document a so we just have log 2 by 1 this is this term come turns out to be is uh, log 1 which is basically zero So as you can see, the word not 
has been given a weightage of log 2 and this fit, uh, this fits well because if a query is to search north then it should suppose we search my name is Vabuf and we search uh, name is not then it should not show the first document even though name is is present so the weightage of not word should be given extra priority and that's what it does the word not has been given a weight of log 2 while rest of them has been 0 so this fits our uh, so this is why the reason of uh, introducing inverse document frequency so let us move on to cosine similarity so the um, so right now what we have is different weights for different words so we have our document converted into uh, weights and our query converted into weights using tfidf method so let us see the weights are Zero point five, and in our document, so as you can see, the document will obviously have a lot more number of words than the query. So we cannot compare both the query and the document in terms of its length. We need to have a criteria which enables us to uh, which enables us to basically compare both of them and that's when cosine similarity comes in so let us for the sake of an, this example we would assume that this is our document and this is our query if we consider the distance between them it's a huge even though they are related queries thus an angle is considered So how do we create uh, understand this angles? So vector q dot product vector d divided by mod of q and mod of d would give us cos theta. The reason why we have uh, taken cos theta is because it is a decreasing function from 0 to pi by 2. This is the basic concept of uh, uh, TF, IDF and cosine similarity. Uh, we would use these concepts to code uh, and in the next tutorial, I would go through the workflow of what the code is and how it works.